Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another epi another uh, subscriber night. This is the Bald Ogres matchup. It's Star Wars versus Christmas themed. A very good matchup by the Bald Ogre, let me just say. Uh, he did a very good job in um, matching this up. I, I thought he did a phenomenal job. And uh, it's great to see this matchup because we've never seen Santa and uh, Rudolph team up against um, Star Wars characters. This is the first time on this channel, actually. And Bald Ogre, he's had a history with making some great, phenomenal matches. And he did again here. So, um, I know some people would probably prefer that it be Darth Vader and the Emperor against uh, Santa Claus and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. But uh, we had to, uh, we didn't have Darth Vader on the subscriber night list. Therefore, he could not team up with uh, the Emperor. Now, um, as for the Darth Vader thing, uh, we do have, uh, which is, it's really funny because we do have, um, we do have Darth Vader. We actually downloaded him recently, but he, he's wearing like a samurai hat, and it's hard to take that seriously. It just really is. Um, we're kind of strict on the creations here sometimes, but I mean, we might we might have him in a in a match or something later on in the future. But most likely we or, or we might already had him. You know, all these videos are coming out at once, and uh, this is part of our subscriber week right before WrestleMania, which will be a three-part if it gets done, because there's been a lot going on in Macau's life recently. Um, so, a lot of stuff going on. Um, but if you're hearing this, this video did get done. So that's all that matters here. And we have already finished the other subscriber night, as well as the uh, Royal Rumble subscriber winner, which was Lucas Hackett. And he also won... Uh, the subscriber night before this so uh, he won't be in this video but all the rest of the subscribers will be uh, so this is going to definitely be a great matchup here uh, we got Rudolph and um, Santa Claus which we haven't seen a lot of them this season we've seen some of Darth Maul we saw that old bag we like to call the Emperor we've seen a lot of him unfortunately um but as for everything else, we have not really seen um, a lot of the other three characters um, besides Darth Maul. Darth Maul is one of Macau's favorite um, Star Wars characters and maybe favorite villain. One of his favorite villains besides the Joker, which uh, he always has loved the Joker. But anyway, uh, we got a lot on the show tonight. We got this. A uh, very good um, matchup, a tag team matchup with both of these opponents right here. Uh, they have they have been so far. It's been about even. You know, you got one side winning and the other side winning. That's how a lot of these tag matches go. And this was definitely a great matchup. We're gonna have another tag team match tonight. We're also gonna have PewDiePie versus Deadpool and Mario versus Luigi. Um, as for our tag match, um, or wait, wait a second, uh, we might have already had one of those. Oh, no, no, it, um, yeah, it'll be that for our tag match. Our main event will be, uh, Superman and Batman versus the Hulk and Captain America. What a great match up there, and we will give the shout-outs to all the winners throughout the night. But this is the Bald Ogre's win right here um, uh, it, like I said it was a very great matchup and uh, great to see him win that matchup so we will have Nate Dog Express we will have the Pony Gamer and we will also have for our main event um, Robert T so all those subscribers won tonight it was a big victory for every single one of them and it looks like this match is just it's going back and forth like I don't know who is going to win this uh, they definitely both have some great advantages I'd probably say Santa and the Emperor are the weakest because they're the old men in this they're the old bags let me just say in this matchup and look at Darth Maul he didn't do nothing there 
Um, look at the Emperor here, though. Oh, my goodness, what a move. What a great move. And Santa. Look at Santa. What a phenomenal move there as well. And Santa calls it with the elbow drop. And Rudolph. Uh-oh, but here comes the ref. I don't know what he's doing. He's going for the cover here. and But Rudolph's about to give the Emperor a last ride. And it is not on the... Um, oh, my goodness. What is that thing called? What is Santa Claus's... I just went blank. What is Santa Claus's vehicle called? I was about to say the reindeer mobile, but that is totally wrong. I, I don't know. I'm having a... King Chrysler is having a, a blank moment here. The chariot? It's not the chariot. What in the world? Like, what is it? The chariot... I don't, oh my goodness. Slay. It's a slay. <laughs> like, oh my, I just went blank. Like, what in the world? You should know that. You should know that. Okay? And, uh-oh, here comes the Emperor here on uh, Rudolph. And, oh man, what a nice move there. And Darth Maul on Santa Claus. Punches Santa Claus there. Man, I can't believe I didn't know what a sleigh was for a second. That is embarrassing. That is, I thought it was a chariot or a reindeer mobile. Where is my mind at today? I am very tired. I am very tired. Reindeer mobile. But when it comes to Rudolph, I want you all to know, and I've said this on the channel before, it that story shows that people will love you when they need you. That is the moral of that story. All the reindeers made fun of Rudolph, but the minute they needed him, they got on their hands and knees and begged him to help. If I was Rudolph, I would say, see you guys later. The kids aren't getting uh, Christmas gifts this year. So, I don't know. I, I think Rudolph did, made the wrong decision there. Yeah, he was the hometown hero, and everyone liked him after... He helped them out. That is the moral of that story. If there's anything that's immoral in that story. Um, and by the way, Santa, we got the Apple Factory now. We don't need your filthy toys. Uh, but here we go. Darth Maul with a nice kick out there. Yeah, to Santa Claus, if he's watching this video, um, we would just like to inform you that Steve Jobs has put you out of business, buddy. So, and the Apple legacy will destroy your factory of toys. Uh, uh, here we go. I don't know what Santa's doing. I guess I guess he got my message and he was a little bit confused of what I was saying. Even though Apple and Android are just destroying his business. Um, because parents are buying their kids iPads and iPhones and, and Androids and all this good stuff. Uh, what in the world? What is going on here? Why are you all walking into each other? Are you sick of what I'm saying? Because it's the truth. But it, anyway, oh, look here. Rudolph with a choke slam on Darth Maul. And Santa Claus with a nice move there on the Emperor. And maybe that, that was the push they needed. The anger that they needed for me to tell them nothing but the truth. And Rudolph showing off a little bit here. And Santa Claus, uh-oh, he's going for a king of the swing here. Um, and uh-oh, here comes Rudolph. He's about to go for, I believe, another last ride on the Emperor. So they have, they're have they doing better now. It was even, but it, what are they doing just standing there? Have you ever called of a, have you ever heard of a pin maybe, guys? Uh, you know? Yeah. So anyway. I don't know what went on there. I, I, all, being in that North Pole, it does something to your head or something. I don't know what the deal is. But uh, Darth Maul here. Um, and I, I re Oh, nice reversal by Darth Maul. Um, and look at Santa Claus here on the Emperor. And uh-oh, uh Santa. Look, oh my goodness. That is like 600 pounds on you. Filled with Oreos and filled with chocolate chips. 
Or, I mean, Chips Ahoy. And Santa's out. And now look at Santa crawling like a dog. Um, and he's going for the panel on Darth Maul. Could this be it? Could this be it right here? And a kick out by Darth Maul. Darth Maul knows better. He knows better than that. Uh, the Star Wars th the characters, though, they're getting embarrassed. They should be ashamed of themselves that they have let um, uh, Christmas characters uh, lay them out in this match. It looks like the Emperor got back uh, his control. I tell you, that guy's a manipulative snake. That is all he is. I've never seen an old bag at it like him. I mean, there's some really bad old bags out there, but the Emperor has to be the, the worst old bag of them all. And I, uh, here we go. Santa Claus is going for the pin. I don't know. The ref's just staring at the crowd, probably flirting with women again. And uh, kick out there. But here's the real test. Here's the real test. And the Christmas characters. Oh, my goodness. The, and R Rudolph, it's over. It's over, Rudolph. It is over. And the Emperor, come on, guys. Yeah, cut the, cut the crap. Cut the crap. The, the... What an upset, and what a great matchup by the Bald Ogre. I did not expect it to be that good, but the Star Wars characters are upsetted by Christmas characters. I'd be ashamed, and Darth Maul was the one that tapped out of it. And, oh my goodness, Christmas has destroyed Star Wars. And I, I remember all, Star Wars always wants to put their movies ar out around Christmas, so that was maybe the motivational drive that Santa and Rudolph needed and the fact that I proved that they're going out of business due to Apple and Android. But anyway, because they can't make products that low, China is going to make them. But here comes Nate Dog Express's match. We got Luigi versus his brother Mario. Put in the comments, who do you like better? I know Macau likes Mario better as a um when it comes i mean luigi he likes luigi actually better mikhail's an odd ball you know he he makes very odd decisions he he likes all the batman villains over batman i mean we're talking about mafia members and murderers here what's wrong with you mikhail also darth maul he didn't want darth maul to die in phantom menace after what he did to qui-gon jen he thought that was awesome I mean, like, that was not awesome. Anakin had to see Qui-Gon Jinn, or whatever his name is. It, it sounds like a, a, a type of really fancy alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Qui-Gon, hey, pass me some Qui-Gon Jinn. Hey, bartender, can I get some Qui-Gon Jinn? <laughs> oh, my goodness, what a laugh there. And, and Mario just copied his brother. What's the coincidence of that? Uh, but anyway, tell us who you like better in the comments, Mario or Luigi. And make sure while you watch this match, you get some Qui-Gon Jinn. And it looks like the uh, crowd's getting a little bit active there. Uh, they skipped Zumba this week, so uh, it's noticeable. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> Qui-Gon Jinn. Hey, bartender. Can I get some Qui-Gon Jinn on the house? <laughs> go to your bar, go to your local bar and tell your bartender, give me some Qui-Gon Jinn. Sounds like, you know, regular Jinn, but a fancy, uh, a fancy, um, a fancy, and then you got the Obi-Wan Kenobis. Obi-Wan Kenobi. What is some other good Star Wars names? And by the way, this is Nate Dogg's match. Uh, it's going to be very good. Uh, we still have Pony Gamer, and uh, we have not only Pony Gamer, but we also have um, Robert T, which is a newer subscriber. He's been commenting a lot. Uh, welcome to the channel, Robert T. We didn't uh, introduce you enough, I, I don't think. And also Nate Dog Express and and uh, and um, Pony Gamer constantly comment on this channel constantly uh give a voice on this channel and we love for you all to comment we read every single comment uh we don't answer all of them some of them don't make sense we had someone the other day go put p p y l z t s or something like what does that mean 
I'm not an acronym machine. I'm not trying to be rude, but come on. We're not acronym machines here, okay? Um, and, and you know what? I, I'm, I'm still thinking about Star Wars. It's still on my mind. You know, you got the Qui-Gon Jinn, then you got all these other, um, all these other, um, all these other coincidences. Like, you know, I'm starting to think that the droid army was made in China. I, I really, I really am like, they're so, they're so cheap. I'm not trying to be a mean, to ch well, a lot of people don't like buying China brands. Um, but I'm not trying to dish China. I mean, they're going for low cost, but sometimes it's very bad. Um, and also, by the way, Germany brand, Japanese brands are some of the best. You know, we all love America brands, and look at Mario. He's doing a very good job here tonight against his brother, Luigi. We all love American brands, but Macau is a fan of Germany and Japan brands as well. Uh, I mean, you can't go wrong with a Toyota. Um... I mean, Macau, we've talked about how his car is a ticking time bomb, how it's eventually uh, not going to be around any longer. Um, uh, but as of now, his Corolla has over 220,000 miles. Yeah, the engine has been replaced on an occasion, but come on now. I mean, that is amazing. And I look at Mario, kick out by Luigi. And when it comes to Germany, the, the SOG knives are amazing. You got to get some SOG knives. I'm not promoting these brands. They didn't pay me to promote this stuff. This is free promotion, so you all can thank me later when the subscribers uh, buy this stuff. Because um, it, it's phenomenal. But anyway, um, Luigi uh, strikes Mario there. Nice kick. Um and uh uh oh luigi here going right after mario and uh oh we're gonna have a king of the swing perhaps yes we are um and here comes luigi this is really deadly uh against mario and i'm telling you the brothers are going back and forth in this match they the refs i don't know why he's shocked he's seen worse um and uh oh here we go and a kick out by mario what a nice kick out there Luigi cannot believe what just happened. I mean, he couldn't believe that the kick out was coming. I saw it a mile away because Mario is tough and he is in this to win it. And what in the world was that? That was way off timing. And Mario now is going to take advantage of that. Look here. It, you're supposed to wait until he rolls all the way around. You hurt yourself. Uh, but anyway, he still, still hit Luigi at least. Uh, both of these brothers have been icons in gaming in the gaming culture in general. And Mario strikes there. Very good strike. They have both been big for Nintendo. I mean, I don't know all the backstory on Nintendo and how Mario and Luigi started. But it was a genius marketing strategy. Uh, and these characters will go down in history. They'll forever be known. Uh, and uh -oh, look at Luigi there. Um, and Mario and Luigi going right out and look at Luigi again the kick to the head on Mario another great kick there um, and Luigi once again a, a kick to Mario and Luigi another strike on Mario's arm And uh-oh, here we go, here we go. Can we see a pin here? Can we, uh, no, a kick out by Luigi. Another kick out. And Mario with a drop kick. And uh-oh, Luigi, what is he, oh, nice move there by Luigi. And uh, oh, another nice move to follow up. What a great move uh, move set by Luigi, uh, Luigi there. And the fans, he's showing off, he shouldn't be. You don't underestimate your brother. Who is the older brother, by the way? Is Mario the younger, or is he the older brother? I mean, I, I think Luigi's the older. But you all can tell me on the comment section that as well. Um, I got a lot of questions for you. Oh, look at Mario. 
Night, they both have great athleticism. I think they both have the same move set as well. And uh oh, here we go. Mario and a kick out by Luigi once again. And the crowd is going nuts. And uh, look at Mario here. Mario, look at this. And what, is, what in the world is with these misses? I mean, what is with these uh, high flying misses? And it's a great matchup, though, by Nate Dog Express. He always gives good, great matchups. Uh, shout outs to his channel, too. I think he's doing uh, some wrestling things. Uh, so make sure to check out his channel. We always like to promote creators. You know, uh, a lot of the times, though, a lot of people, uh oh, Luigi, uh oh, Boston Crab has been locked in. This is one of the most deadly parts when it comes to the submission on this channel. I think we saw it on the last match as well. And, uh, yeah, Mario's done. Luigi wins. Wow, what a matchup there. What a matchup. What a great matchup by Luigi and Mario. And, uh, wow. I am just shocked. Literally shocked by, uh, both Mario and Luigi here tonight. Um, and wow. A kick there. Another kick. And, yeah, that was amazing. That was absolutely amazing what we saw here di uh, displayed tonight. Luigi's excited. He beat Mario. He uh, He's trying to prove to everyone he's better than his brother. Do you all think he's better than his brother? Or is Mario always going to be your favorite? Um, I know Mikhail likes Luigi better, but tell us on the comments, who do you like better? Who do you like? That's, that's what matters. We want to kind of get a, a census here of who you like better. And up next is the Pony Gamers match. And up next is the Pony Gamers match. PewDiePie will take on Deadpool in this match. So it's going to be a very good one. Definitely a very good match. And um, I cannot wait to see what will happen. Let me remind you all. Ken Ziles trap a couple weeks ago using PewDiePie for bait for the Blue Neck. And then attacking... The blue neck with a set of steel steps. Uh, it was a genius idea. I'll give Ken Zile credit. Um, he knew that PewDiePie had that slur a couple weeks ago, and Blue Neck did not like that slur, so um, he knew Blue Neck would fall for it. But but anyway, tonight PewDiePie actually has another opponent, and it is Deadpool. Now Pony Gamer picks uh, picked this matchup. Uh, it seems like a good matchup. You know, you got two um, not-so-serious characters uh, fighting each other. And here comes Deadpool. He's the life of the party, son. He is the life of the party. Let's just admit it. Let's just admit it. Uh, he is the life of the party in this match. And PewDiePie's got to overcome a Marvel character tonight. So it's definitely going to be rough for him. But we've seen a lot of upsets on this channel before. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we see one again. Uh, but anyway, um, Deadpool and PewDiePie will face off next. And Robert T will have the main event. As it will be Superman. And okay, Deadpool, you need to stop. We need to get this match started and end the party. Okay? Um, Robert T has the main event, though. Um, he's going to have a Marvel versus DC event. Uh, Black Panther and Captain America, I believe. No, it's the Hulk and Captain America, I think. Uh, I think it's the Hulk and Captain America versus, yeah, versus Batman and Superman. So, um, I know that we got a, oh, look at Deadpool there. I know we all have our preferences, uh, but tell us in the comments, who do you want us to win, DC or Marvel? DC or Marvel? And who you like better? Which one do you like better? We got a Marvel character in action against the bro fist, PewDiePie. And uh, we'll see what PewDiePie can do here. We've seen him in a couple rumbles. But that's about it. Uh, he hasn't been a big factor on the channel. And he usually, usually the famous people are never really a big factor on this channel, by the way, guys. Um, but anyway, Deadpool strikes again. And, uh, 
Uh oh, PewDiePie with a nice reversal there. So a little bit of strike back and look at PewDiePie. Oh, nice slam. Very nice slam. And PewDiePie is going for, oh man, what a nice move there. Um, nice high flying move. And it seems like he's so far, well, Deadpool's coming back in it. But it seems like it's going good for him so far. And look at PewDiePie with the reversal, but Deadpool reverses back. And a body slam on PewDiePie. And now Deadpool's going up the uh, turnbuckle here. Could we see something crazy? And he's pointing right at PewDiePie. We'll see what happens here. We've seen some misses tonight. And he didn't miss that. He did not miss that one for sure. And uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's going to get weapons. He's going to get some weapons, of course. You guys cannot go without him. And Deadpool's got a chair and he strikes PewDiePie. And watch this. What in the world? You know, if you're going to get weapons, strike more than once. I cannot wait until the 2K18 comes. Hopefully they improve their AI. Because as of now, it's artificial idiots. But anyway, uh-oh, here comes the submission from Deadpool. Could we see a win here already tonight? That's a big question. And uh, PewDiePie's hanging in there. And uh, looks like he got out of it. Oh, that was a tough one to get out of, too. That could have went bad for uh, Felix. I think that's his name, Felix, right? And uh, Pony Gamer, why did you think this would be a good matchup? I mean, it is. Uh, but is was it because of something you saw on his channel? That's what I want to know. Um, and uh-oh, here comes Deadpool. And look at these strikes. Look. Look at this. This is insanity. Yeah. Let's go. And Deadpool's going for the pin. And uh-oh, could we see a... And what? That was a three. Deadpool's arguing with the... Re the ref is senile. He is senile. He's got problems. And uh-oh, Deadpool with a nice move there. And uh-oh, Deadpool's going for more weapons. Just to, you know, throw him back out of the rain again. Oh no, he's having a little staring contest with PewDiePie's body. And now he's showing off to, to the fans. And now he's getting that chair again. And well, if he would have... If he wouldn't have threw it out of the rain, he wouldn't have to get it again. And this time... Uh-oh, oh man... Looks like he's using it more than once. Um, and uh, not a big chair shot there. And uh-oh. Look at PewDiePie. Oh, man. Uppercut. And uh-oh. PewDiePie. Could this land? Oh, no. Look at... Oh, man. Nice reversal. Nice reversal by PewDiePie there. And uh-oh, Deadpool strikes back. And now Deadpool. Oh, man, and look at this pin. The ref needs to get on it. And PewDiePie kicks out of that. That's not a tight pin, though. It's a very athletic pin. It's not a tight pin. And uh-oh, Deadpool again with these slaps and kicks. And then a clothesline, a combination there. And PewDiePie again with another nice reversal. These two are, have been going back and forth all day. And Deadpool is going to work. And he's busted open PewDiePie. And now he's got the elbows. He's hitting PewDiePie in the shoulder with him. And another one of those deadly moves again. Deadpool's looking good tonight. He's looking good. He used to be one of our biggest stars on the channel. In 2K15, when we had a uh, um, a recession going on. Oh, man. PewDiePie just struck, though. He struck Deadpool in the neck. Could this be it? And a kick out by Deadpool. And PewDiePie is bleeding. And now I wouldn't be showing off. Oh, nice move there. And what is this? Oh, man. That was really dumb. 
That was a really dumb mute move, buddy. Look at Deadpool reversing here. Oh, nice reversal. And uh-oh, Deadpool's going for King of the Swing. King of the Swing. Locked in. And now Deadpool's going for the pin. And another kick out by PewDiePie. And Deadpool's about had enough of it. He has had enough with not only PewDiePie, but the wrath. And Deadpool, look here. And a submission. It's that deadly one again. It's that deadly submission again. And look at this submission. It is deadly. Yeah, it's done. It's done. Deadpool wins. What a submission. I thought it would work the first time, actually, but it didn't. But um, Deadpool wins the match, Pony Gamer. So congratulations to Deadpool. That was a pretty good match. Uh, PewDiePie had a good few resiliency moments, I would say. Um, had some good kickouts. Um, especially, I, I believe it was this one was a really good one. Look how close. Are you kidding me? The ref's pain nail was touching the, 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 literally the mat. So I, I don't know what the deal was there. But Deadpool still won. And, uh, looks like, uh, he, he doesn't have any hard feelings towards our moronic ref. And this is our main event, Robert T. And we got a tag team match. Um, Marvel versus DC here. Hulk and uh, Captain America versus Batman and Superman. Uh, this is going to be a good matchup. Um, I would say the biggest Marvel character, though, has to be Spider- And look at Captain America! Catching Batman with a clothesline. Um, I'd say the biggest Marvel comic would have to be Spider-Man. Um, in my opinion. Um, he has been one of the biggest impacts on Marvel comics, I would say. Batman and Batman and Superman are the biggest DC, but who is second when it comes to DC? What is your opinion? Like, the Hulk is pretty big, but, you know, not a lot of people talk about him, and Iron Man is close. I, I almost want to say Wolverine, but back in the comic days, he wasn't a big character. He wasn't a big character in, in, um, before Hugh Jackman started playing as him. And then he started becoming a humongous role as a comic book character. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. So, I don't know who's the second in Marvel. I, I believe Spider-Man's number one, though. I believe Spider-Man's number one with the Marvel, you know, with popularity. I'm not saying he's the best. Um, Iron Man could be in that question. Captain America. Um, the Hulk. I don't, I don't know about Thor. Um... Who else? X-Men, maybe? Uh, not so much on the Fantastic Four, either. And definitely not Guardians of the Galaxy. So, it's definitely... I don't know... I don't know exactly who. Who's the second biggest Marvel property. So, you all can tell me on the comments. I know Spider-Man's number one. I'd say Spider-Man's number one. But anyway, let's get this match back on this match. And we got the Hulk and uh, facing off with Superman... And Captain America facing off with Batman. So far, all these matches have turned out really good. And look at the Hawk picking up Superman right here. Oh my goodness. The strength of the Hawk. It's unreal. Uh, but anyway, got a lot coming. This is Subscriber Week. Hope you all are enjoying it. We're counting down... Uh, tomorrow should be Wrestlemania. I don't know how we're putting out all these videos, but I think tomorrow is Wrestlemania, the beginning of it, Friday, uh, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, three night events. If, if all of it gets done, that is. It should get done, though. It should get done. There's a lot going on in Macau's life recently, um, but hopefully all of this can get done. If you're watching this video, that means all the subscriber activities have gotten done, except for the Q&A. We still got a, um, 
do that. But if it's not up by month, it should be up that week too. So anyway, yeah, yeah, there shouldn't be no problem in uploading it unless the computer breaks. We always want to make sure to give you all updates on this stuff and make sure you follow us on Twitter. Make sure you follow us on Facebook at Prince Macau. Uh, I believe the Twitter is Prince Macau 1994. Um, it will give you updates on the channels. We will also do polls. We're gonna we're gonna start doing more polls. And uh, we found out though we could uh, well at least there's probably a way uh, if you can see the actual account who voted. But we're trying to get you know we're trying to get information from you all. What do you want to see on this channel? That is one of the biggest questions uh, that we are trying to um, answer. And, you know, 2K18 is coming up. We need a new set of ideas. And look at the Hawk. F5 here, Batman kicked out. But an F5 on Superman. Wow, what a move. And uh-oh, here comes the ref. And a kick out by Superman. Ugh. So we're having Justice League versus the Avengers. I heard the new Justice League movie is a pile of garbage. I'm not for sure, though. Like I said, we haven't seen it. It hasn't came out yet. But I've heard nothing but horrible, horrendous things about the new movie, which is not good. And the Hulk just kicked out again. And uh-oh, here we go. Another pin. The ref's taking his sweet time. And a kick out by Batman. So it looks like uh, looks like the Avengers are taking it so far tonight. We'll see what ends up happening here, though. Um, I believe I believe when it comes to overall, you know, it's not much of a difference. And look at Superman here; he's got his comeback. He's the comeback kid here, and uh, he's gonna go for weapon because you can't he can't use his laser eyes on the channel. That is that is an illegal maneuver. But anyway, and Superman got caught in a glitch. And he it looks like he got out of the glitch. And now he's taking the bat to the Hulk. And now the tables have turned. And Justice League is taking it back. So that's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy there. What's going on here? And uh-oh, Batman going for the uh, more elbows to the Hulk. And uh, Captain America is going after Superman now. They've reversed positions. And Superman with a nice reversal. And look there. Oh, man. Captain America ran right into it. The, by, the, by the time he turned around, he totally got clobbered. And we cannot wait for 2K18. We're going to try to step up the game. We're going to try to step it up. Because we're going to have to. To compete. And we did great for September guys. We did great. But not on subscribers. We didn't do really good on gaining subscribers. We did good on views and income. And once, But we need subscribers. You know. I don't think we're going to get to 10k by 2018. I really don't. I don't know why. I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand why. We found out a strategy, perhaps, that is the reason why this is occurring. Um, and look here. What are we going to... You dummies! <laughs> oh, look at Captain America! Oh, man! Attitude adjustment to Batman! Could this be it? No, Batman kicks out again. He has great resiliency. In Fight Like Hell, he did a great job up against Pinhead. And, um, wow. It has been nothing but greatness from these guys tonight. And, oh, man, Batman striking again. And the Hawk, look at the Hawk here. Oh, man, right on the bat. And Captain America. Looks like uh, the Avengers are taking back control of this match. And look at the Hulk giving a suplex city, but Superman's going for the pin here, and a kick out by Captain America. And now the Hulk's going for the pin. Superman's not even paying attention, like usual. And Batman kicks out, though. Wow. 
And Superman with a DDT on Captain America now. And uh, Batman with a reversal on the Hawk. And uh oh, Batman's throwing the Hawk into the corner. And uh oh, this does not look good for the Hawk here. Oh, but nice reversal. There's always a reversal in the corner. I don't know why. And look at the Hawk. This is going to be an F5. But Superman is going for a pin as well. What is going to happen here? No, look at the Hawk. He breaks up the Boston Crab. And who knows? That could have ended it right there. But nice, nice move by the Hawk, especially for AI. That was a great move. A great save as well. And look at the Hawk here uh, taking it to Superman. I have no idea who's going to win this. And uh oh, Batman's going to go for King of the Swing here. And uh oh, Hawk is going to. I don't know if this move is going to work for the Hawk. If it does, it's. Oh no, it's not. And Superman's got a shot here. Oh, nice move. And Batman needs to go for the pin! He needs to go for the pin! What is he doing? Hi! Batman's in lava land, everyone. And uh-oh. Batman now going after the Hawk. And Captain America caught him now. And despite the overall, the Hulk is dominating Superman in this matchup. And he's got like a 94 overall. And Superman's got 109 or something like that. I, that that's crazy. It just goes to show it's the Hulk, everyone. He's just so big. But look at Superman right when I said it. And the Justice League is trying to get back control of this match. And everyone's trying to get a piece of the Hulk here. And uh-oh! The Crab has been locked in! Boston Crab! Could this be it? And no, but here's the real test. Here's the real test. Oh man, but I don't know what happened there. The Hulk got out of it because he has great strength in his legs. He definitely didn't skip leg day, that's for sure. Um, and Captain America just busted open Superman. And uh, Batman's looking towards Captain America, trying to go after him, but the Hulk is out, and Batman did not pin once again. And uh oh, we're gonna have a fight between the Hulk and Superman here. Hulk's got a ball back too. It's gonna get bad. I, what in the world was that? And uh oh, the Hulk is going. But what in the world? Superman got out of it somehow. And Superman now attacking the Hulk. And Captain America. Batman with the reversal. And look at the Hulk. He's going for Suplex City. And Batman is doing his own little thing. Who's going to win that? Is the question. And Batman needs to quit worrying about the Hulk. And get on the pan. Goodness. And look here. Batman's just staring. What are you doing? You bat. He's going to say later his gear went bad. That's a bunch of BS. And look at the Hulk here. But Batman with a great reversal. Uh-oh. Superman. DDT. And look at Batman here. Uh-oh, Batman's had enough. He got tired of me screaming at him. And look here. Oh my goodness, what a DDT. Call the law. I know you all missed that one. Um, and uh-oh, look here. Oh my goodness, Superman. What a reversal. And DC is back in control of this match. And Batman, but oh look here! The Hulk catches him! The Hulk catches him! And it's gonna be an F5! Unreal! 
crowd is going berserk. And look at the Hawk here. Superman's not paying attention, but a kick out by Batman. Oh my goodness, the crowd's going nuts. They love this one, Robert T. You did a good job here. You did a great job. And look at Captain America. He drop kicked the ref. And he's still doing drop kicks. What in the world? Call the law. What? Captain America. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my. What a match. Here we go. Let's go. And look here. And look at the Hulk. Look at this power. Oh, nice. And Superman going for DDT. And the Hulk headbutts Batman. And another strike. But Superman, the dual double team on the Hulk there. Oh, my goodness. This match is intense. And Superman's going to go for the pin. Could this be it? And oh my goodness! DC wins! Wow, what a match though! Captain America got confused towards the end or something. He just got right back up when they hit the three. And the Hulk, the Hulk saved him, but he couldn't save the Hulk. And they had to double team him at the end, the Hulk. Superman and Batman. What a matchup though. And what was with all those drop kicks? What's wrong with Captain America? What is wrong with him? And DC wins. Justice League is victorious tonight. And uh, Superman and Batman shaking hands. And uh, Superman takes the win for the, this team. It's a good thing because Batman was senile the whole match. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, guys.